Welcome back to another episode of the Pig and Whiskey Test Kitchen. Today we are smoking a stuffed pork loin. We are going to fill it with Hatch Green Chilies and Monterey Jack Cheese, followed up with a Cilantro Lime Cream Sauce. Stick around, you won't want to miss this. Alright, we're going to start with lighting both our smoker and our grill. Go ahead and get those lit and bring your smoker up to about 300 degrees. Now, my buddy Fowler sent me some hatch green chilies, and these were starting to go bad, so I had to find a use for them. And today's video seemed the perfect opportunity. Here, I'm just trimming any bad parts of the chilies and threading them onto the skewers. After we get them threaded on the skewers, we're going to give them a quick spritz of avocado oil. It has a higher smoke point and is perfect for grilling. Okay, we got them sprayed up. Let's head to the grill. Now the grill is up to temp and we're going to place the peppers on it. And it shouldn't take more than one to two minutes. Just want to get a nice char. How long it takes may depend on how hot your grill is but we're gonna give those a quick flip when they're done, and once the char is complete on the other side, we're gonna take them back inside. Once we're inside, we're going to find a resealable bag and dump the chilies into the bag. They will maintain the heat inside the bag, creating a steaming action that will help remove the skins from the peppers. Now, we're getting our food safe cutting board out, and as you can see, it moves around easily and could be dangerous while we are trimming the pork. We don't want any accidents, so I'm going to show you a pitmaster trick of putting down a wet paper towel and placing your cutting board on the towel, and that will keep it from sliding around. Today we have a center cut pork loin. We are going to open it up and lay it out on the cutting board. I'm just inspecting for any loose pieces or chunks. Go ahead and trim any of those off. And on the top here, we have a little bit of silver skin. So we're gonna go ahead and carefully remove that skin. It's not totally necessary but your pork will be much more tender if you do. Okay, just keep slicing away until you remove all the skin. Try not to remove any of the meat if you can avoid it. Once you trim that, square up the sides of the meat. Here I'm just inspecting the meat, trying to figure out the best approach to begin slicing. We are going to slice across the top third of the loin carefully fold it back as we are slicing parallel to the cutting board. We're not going to remove it all the way off, but we're going to make several short, precise cuts until we get to one side. Careful not to cut all the way through. Once you're about an inch from the edge, you're going to fold it over and begin slicing back the other direction. Notice this strip here on the thicker side we're going to slice through trying to maintain an even thickness to the remaining portion. Then butterfly the loin the rest of the way open. Careful not to cut through the meat. Okay, just some minor slices to even it out and then we're going to cover it with a sheet of plastic. And using a rolling pin, for some other blunt object, such as a wine bottle, we're going to pound it out. We're not really trying to flatten it more, we're just trying to even out the thickness of the loin. Now trim up the edges, however, it's not really necessary if you don't wish to do that. Now I'm applying our seasoning. Today we're using Boar's Night Out White Lightning. It's a good all-purpose rub 
with a nice balance of salt, pepper, and garlic, and it has a nice buttery taste. Once we have the inside seasoned with our rub, we're gonna take some dried hatched chilies and grind them in our spice grinder. Give those a few shakes in the grinder until you've turned them into a powder. And after that, we're going to sprinkle generously across the face of the meat. This will intensify the hatched chilies that we roasted earlier. And if you don't have dried chilies, you can skip this step. Now, let's set this aside while we clean our chilies. Remove them from the bag, and using a knife, we're going to open them up. Subscribe. Clean out any seeds and remove the charred skins. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. However, the more skin you get off, the better. Some seeds are okay. We're just gonna take our time here and try not to waste any of the meat of the peppers. Sometimes it's unavoidable. Place those in a bowl and let's clean up our work area and bring our pork loin back to the cutting board. Go ahead and carefully place the chilies evenly across the loin, all except for about the last third of the loin. Then we're going to take our Monterey Jack cheese and apply that liberally over the chilies. Here I have some butcher's twine and I'm going to measure out just a little past the length of the loin. And I'm going to measure out about five times that length. Cut the string, set that aside. That length should be enough to truss up our loin. Now it's time for rolling. Mustering all your rolling skills from your glory days, Tightly roll the loin and pause about halfway through. You're gonna to want to season the inside of the meat as well. You're gonna give it a generous coverage of rub, then go ahead and complete your roll. Just to let you know, if you don't have Boar's Night Out White Lightning Rub, you could substitute SPG in this situation. That is a mixture of salt, pepper, and granulated garlic. The proportions will be listed in the description below. Now it's time to truss up our loin. Here we're going to make an overhand knot with several turns so it will maintain tension on its own. We're going to go underneath the meat and then feed it through the loop. And then we're going to use a ratcheting action to cinch the string tight on the loin. And once you have that, we're going to repeat that process trying to keep them as evenly spaced as possible for the entire length of the loin. Once you get to the end, tie that off into a knot and then we're going to trim our strings. Here I'm just evening up the strings so that the ridges on the loin look more uniform. We are seasoning the outside with our Boar's Night Out rub. Remove any strings that you may have missed. Go ahead and coat that thoroughly on the outside and here I am rolling it on the board to secure the rub and following that up with our green chili powder. With that finished, we're gonna place it on a rack and head to the smoker. All right, we are up to 300 degrees. We're gonna throw in some hickory today. Hickory pairs nicely with pork. Place the meat in the middle of the grate, close the lid and set the timer for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, we're going to insert our probe into the top of the smoker, and once we open the smoker, we are going to do a quick flip on the loin, being as careful as possible. Sorry about my big fat grandma elbow, 
but go ahead and give the grate a 180 degree turn. If you notice here, the one side of the loin appears to be darker than the other. That is why we are turning the grate. Insert the probe, close the lid, and set your alarm for 140 degrees. Once you have that, let's head back inside to create a sauce for the pork. Let's start with one cup of sour cream. To that, we're going to add a couple pinches of salt. a couple shakes of freshly ground black pepper, and after that, we're going to add one clove of garlic. Go ahead and smash that, peel it, and place it in the bowl. Now, it's hard to see what's going on here, but I am adding the zest of one lime. Then we're going to cut it in half, and since these were pretty juicy limes, I only use one half. If your lime doesn't have as much juice, feel free to use the whole lime. I'm placing a handful of cilantro in the bowl. And once that's in, we're going to slice a jalapeno and remove the seeds. After half the jalapeno is in the bowl, I just did a quick taste test to see exactly how hot the pepper was, and I decided not to put the other half in the bowl. I didn't want the sauce to overpower the heat of the hatched chilies. Go ahead and pour your sauce into a serving bowl. Place it in the fridge and head out to check our pork. The alarm is going off at 140 degrees, so we're going to remove the probe, and once you remove the probe, you're going to remove the meat from the smoker. We've got a little leakage on the tip. Pretty sure a shot of penicillin would take care of that, but it's okay. Just look at how gorgeous this is. Now we're heading inside. Since we cooked this to an internal temperature of 140 degrees, we're going to wrap it in foil and let the temperature coast to 145, which is the finishing temperature for pork. Okay, we're going to slice it in half and do the old melty cheese reveal. Oh yeah, look how delicious that looks. It's juicy and not too rare. All right, now it's rested for a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and slice up some medallions and plate them. I didn't show you this, but you can cut the string and it will pretty much come off all in one piece. Now that we have those plated, we're going to drizzle them with our sauce. These are the hot variety of the hatch chili, and the cream sauce will add a nice cooling effect to the heat. As you can see, these look delicious. Pork loin is a very neutral flavored meat, so the spiciness of the hatch chilies really brings it up a notch, and combined with Monterey Jack cheese, it really balances out perfectly. These are tender, smoky, and delicious. Thank you for joining us today at the Pig and Whiskey Test Kitchen. Hope to see you next time. Find our recipes for this episode in the description box below. And don't forget, subscribe.